Welcome back to another video. We're going to do a cartridge comparison. We're going to compare some of the more popular hunting cartridges. The 30-06 Springfield versus the 270 Winchester. I'm going to go over some of the history of these cartridges, why they're so popular. I'm also going to look at the ballistic charts and answer some of the questions that people might have, like is the 270 a flatter shooting cartridge than the 30-06? If you guys like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. Let's get into it. The 30 6 initial development started in 1903. Uh, the Americans saw how effective the 7mm Mauser was in the Spanish-American War, and so they kind of copied it. They took that case from the 7mm Mauser, lengthened it, and made the neck up to a 30 caliber. And that is what we have now as the 30 6 uh, it came out in 1906, hence the name 30-06, and uh, it's initially a military cartridge. And the American population, the civilians, found it to be an extremely good hunting cartridge. What makes it so good? Well, it's extremely versatile. With the 30 caliber, you have a lot of bullet options. It can shoot from 110 grain bullets well over to 200 grains. And it does it all pretty well. You could say that this cartridge is kind of the granddaddy of all American cartridges. If the 30-06 is the granddad, this is the younger, a little bit smaller brother. In 1925, Winchester started producing the 270 Winchester. Looking at the dimensions, this really is just a 30-06 neck down to 270. However, there is a little bit of a difference. If you remember in the 30-06, that casing length is just under 2.5 inches. Well, this one is lengthened a little bit more to 2.540 inches. Basically, it has a longer neck. The 270 is popular because it gives almost the exact same performance as a 30-06 with smaller bullets, so that means there's less recoil, and it technically is a flatter shooter and we're going to look at the ballistics next to see how much flatter it is than the 30-06. The thing that kind of holds the 270 back though is the small bullet selection. So you can shoot from 100 grains up to about 160 grains. So it's not as versatile as the 30-06. Let's go ahead and look at the ballistics of both though. All right, I'm going to start out with the 270 Winchester. I'm using a 140 grain Nosler Acubond with a BC of 0.496, so a pretty decent BC. And out of the muzzle, that 270 is going to shoot at 3,000 feet per second, so a good velocity. And that energy is almost 2,800 foot pounds, and that recoil is 17. Now, out to 400 yards, this cartridge is pretty darn good. Uh, it's still going over 2,200 feet per second. And then at 400 yards, it still has 1,600 foot-pounds of energy. And that is plenty for deer and elk. Uh, it's really up to whether how well you can shoot. And out to 500 yards, it's almost 1,400 foot-pounds of energy. But let's look at the drop. Um, out to 400. Uh, 24.7 inches of drop. So it is flat. Let's see how though it compares with the 30-06. Looking at the 30-06, uh, I want to use a bullet that has similar BC to the 270, and so we are going to be using a bigger bullet. It's going to be a 165 grain Nosler Acubond with a BC of 0.475, and the velocity it's going pretty darn fast. Um, some of you might think it's going a little too fast, but this is data from the Nosler Reloading Handbook, so I'm uh, just taking it from there. Uh, Energy-wise, it's almost 3,300 foot-pounds of energy, and you're going to get a little bit more recoil at 21. Let's see how well it does out to hunting distances. Uh, the velocity uh, over 2,200 feet per second and the energy about 200 more foot-pounds than the 270 at 1800. And then look at the drop, 25 inches. So yes, technically the 270 is a little bit flatter shooting, but not by a lot, like less than a half an inch. 
In conclusion, both of these cartridges are great hunting rounds. The 30-06, its advantages is it can shoot bigger bullets and it can shoot the bullets a little bit quicker and so it's a little bit more efficient round. Advantages for the 270 is that it's a little bit flatter shooting and the recoil is not going to be as bad. These two cartridges are classics and honestly I don't see them going anywhere. Yes, the newer cartridges have really high BC bullets and they potentially are more efficient, but these two are just so good, I, they're not going anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching.